climate change seems like a problem of a far distant future. We just go on with business as usual. Corona is a wake-up call. It's a consequence of how we treat nature. It has disrupted all of our lives. Prevention is better than cure. To replicate, a virus needs a host that may get sick or die. Likewise, we humans are destroying our own host, planet Earth. We've wiped out entire habitats, driven species to extinction, and reduced wildlife populations by 60%. Plants constitute 82% of all life on Earth, bacteria 13%, and everything else makes up the remaining 5%. Oh, and humans? We represent just 0.01% of all life on Earth, yet the 0.01% has exterminated over 80% of all wild mammals, Natural habitats have been destroyed. Future pandemics will emerge more often, spread more rapidly, cause greater damage to the global economy, and kill more people than COVID-19. While wild species are dying out, 60% of mammals on Earth are livestock. We are destroying forests to produce animal feed, to create pasture for cattle, or for mining or human settlement. This causes a loss of biodiversity, greatly increasing the risk of spreading pathogens. As humans increasingly encroach on the natural habitats, wild animals are coming ever closer to human habitation. It's becoming easier for pathogens to jump to humans and mutate. Taking just one species from an ecosystem can disrupt the whole food chain. When a population of predators decreases, this has an impact on the number of rodents and deer, increasing the chances for ticks that can carry Lyme disease. In the wild, there are countless animal diseases that could cause a pandemic if just one of them jumps to humans. Take H5N1, bird flu. If transmitted to humans, this virus can have a high mortality rate. Then there's H9N2, a lesser known bird flu. It's sneakier, but also dangerous. Quick on the draw is H1N1, swine flu. H5N8, another bird flu that's already found human victims. Just like us, they love to travel to new and different hosts, always looking for exotic new destinations. Wildlife trade also facilitates the spread of pathogens. The spillover of animal diseases to humans is made easier by antimicrobial resistance, intensified agriculture and livestock production, climate change, invasive species, and international travel and commerce. If we don't act now, drug-resistant diseases could cause 10 million deaths each year by 2050. So, how can we reduce these risks? The first thing we can do is to stop deforestation, protect habitats, and ban wildlife trade. But above all, we must reduce our consumption of meat and other animal products. Drastic measures are needed to halt climate change and the destruction of nature. Act now and give our children hope for the future. There's a world to win.